Hola a todos. Hey everybody. What is up? Today I'm going to show you how to use a vision board in order to manifest anything you want. Before we get into the rest of the video though, make sure you are subscribed, like, and comment, and make sure you hit that bell so you can know when I have a new yoga video, meditation video, travel vlog, healthy vegan slash alkaline inspired recipes, all of that. That being said, let's jump right into it. All right, so the first thing you're gonna need is some type of canvas, some kind of medium with which to put your vision board on. So for the most part, I tend to do physical vision boards. However, you can use um, your computer. So you can create an image using uh, some type of website. You can use Canva to create a collage or really like any type of collage making website. You can also just have Pinterest be a living vision board that you can always go back to and look at. I mean, you can have it on Pinterest and just at the beginning of your day or before you go to sleep, scroll through it and look through it. I have a massive board, poster board from the Dollar Tree. I prefer to have the physical board, which is something that I can hang up in my room or my sacred space as not only decoration, but um, motivation to continue going after my goals and my dreams. Now, before you do your vision board, I do suggest, um, I highly encourage you guys to meditate, do yoga, pull tarot, do any sort of method that's gonna help you start um, getting into your higher self and to ground yourself. It's very important that when you're manifesting that we are manifesting from a place of love and the higher self and not the ego. A lot of people are so caught up in manifesting money and cars and houses and all those things, which are nice, but at the same time, what value is it bringing into the community with which you serve? Like, what are you gonna do with all that abundance? Of course, you are free to live your own life, but I just like to try to have that disclaimer in there because a lot of modern manifestation is literally like, manifest $10,000, manifest a Ferrari, manifest a mansion. And it's like, what are you actually doing with that? Um, what is that giving to you? And oftentimes when we look at those physical items with which we want to manifest, there's, <clears throat> there's a cat butt. Oftentimes when... <laughs> This is big on his butt. <laughs> Oftentimes what they are overlooking is how it's gonna actually make them feel inside of themselves. So, so we think we want the car to make us feel good, but in reality, we just wanna feel successful. It's not to say that manifesting a car isn't work that's worth doing, you know, because Either way, more likely than not to manifest the car, you have to do a decent amount of physical work and spiritual work. Maybe you need to boost your credit score, start saving more and all those types of things. It's really just about getting clear with your intentions and why it is that you want these things, which is why meditation, yoga, whatever grounding method you do is gonna help you tap into that why. And um, hopefully it'll be able to help you manifest things on a deeper level. So not just manifesting physical things, but manifesting that feeling. Because we all know that no physical item, nothing outside of ourselves is gonna make us feel complete. So it's very important that we remember the why when we are thinking about what we want to manifest once you have grounded yourself once you have started getting clear into your why you can start choosing photos that represent the things you want once you're ready to start picking out your photos you can use a variety of things you can use magazines books i like to just go on pinterest and find images um so i'll look for what i am trying to manifest in the search bar but i also have a running vision board on my pinterest and whenever i see an image that i really really connect to or i'm just like yeah that's the one i really want on my my uh vision board i'll just go ahead and send the or save the pin to that vision board on pinterest and so that is where i got my collection of photos today i didn't print any of my photos in color because that's a lot of freaking colors my board is like 28 inches and so 
22 inches so i was like i'm not spending i'm not wasting all of that colored ink and of course it's not a waste because it's going on my vision board however i'm a small business so i prefer to save my color ink for my business cards my candle labels all that stuff which by the way if you guys didn't already know i make manifestation candles to help you manifest anything you want as well as other spiritual self-care products Burning a manifestation candle, specifically Pussy Power, would be a fantastic candle to pair with this manifestation and visualization activity. So if you guys are interested in that, you can find more about that in the description box below. Or you can follow me on Instagram at The Brown Yogi or La Bella Bruja Spiritual Goods. That is my, my spiritual business page. Of course, can use color on your photos. Um, you can also, like I said, print out some or cut out some stuff from magazines. I think to help spruce up these black and gray photos what i'm gonna do is i'm gonna take some markers and do outlines draw hearts stars anything to really bring more pop into the board also because my board is black another layer that i'm gonna do to make my vision board very personal to me is i actually went and bought butterfly stickers from the dollar tree once i saw them i knew they were perfect for my vision board because a i love butterflies b for me it is a very big synchronicity symbol um and they were a dollar each so here are the butterfly stickers right here. My niece tried to gank them from me and I was like, girl, you better back up. She's five though, so stickers are very big for her. It's really gonna be a beautiful collage and art piece, but also it's gonna be a beautiful way for me to manifest these things. And it's also gonna serve as a reminder. So when I look at it, I'm like, that's what I'm going for. This is why I do it. So yeah, the next step is just cut out your images, of course, and then assemble them in any way that really aligns with you that really resonates with you but before we paste these images one extra awesome juicy tip that i'm going to share is i love to actually write affirmations on the back of this so then not only am i using it as a visual cue but i'm able to then put sigils i'm able to put a uh, affirmations i'm able to put spells and stuff on the back of this so it's literally going to be dripping with manifestation energy gooeyness so here i have all of my photos cut out with affirmations on the back i arranged them in a way that felt good to me because i see vision boards as an act of self-care i added other things that made me feel good like adding a candle or putting on an audiobook after shooing away some curious cats, I added the reflective butterfly stickers for an extra <laughs> layer of pizzazz. Thankfully, the glue spots did dry out clear. Here is the beautiful final look. Stick around for some funny bloopers. <coughs> Brown! So it's literally going to... Get your... Where I go and I just... In modern manifestation, a lot. Sorry. Uh, um. Oops. <laughs> okay, dog. A cat. Can you scoochie, please? Thank you. Can you please scoochie? Well, if you're not gonna be a good a phone tripod, please move. Thank you. <laughs> I apologize for all the moving. I have a cat that's uh, I don't know if you're trying to see me shine today, but we gonna shine regardless. How about that? Maybe it's a test from the universe, you know? Maybe Onyx is like, do you really want to record? I heard you want to record. Do you really want to record? Nah, I just think he's being the cat. So what the hell else? <laughs> 